Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate ServiceNow with Salesforce. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at servicenow.com or log into our uh, existing account. If you're familiar with ServiceNow, uh, you will basically discover that the fastest way how we can make this integration work is through third-party app. Uh, I chose to use automate.io I will leave the link in the description underneath this video just for this uh, uh, just for this integration. It's a very useful app and it will save you a lot of time and a lot of trouble. So once we are at automate.io we want to go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Once this pop-up window show up we want to go and see all categories. Now at, at in, uh, app integrations we want to write down the name of the first app that we are about to we are about to integrate. So it will be ServiceNow, like this. Uh, once uh, ServiceNow is implemented, we want to go and search for its counterpart, which will be Salesforce. Now, as you can see, Automate.io prepared for us some popular integrations. So uh, if you are able to pick one, feel free just to hit the try it now button. But if you won't be able to pick the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can get to create your own integration. On the left side, underneath the triggers, we want to start with, uh, we want to start with ServiceNow account. Ignore the Salesforce. So we have two options. So but let's start with the first one. On the other hand, underneath the actions, on the right hand side, you want to go with the Salesforce. So I'm just going with the first one, but obviously feel free to pick the one that you need. Once we uh, picked our apps or our options, we want to hit the Try It Now button so we can get redirected to login or regist register uh, at automate.io. So uh, that's a few and we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, which is a very similar app to Automate.io, made for integrations as well. Once we are here, we want to go create ourselves an account and uh, click on top left uh, corner of our screen, create a Zap button. First, we also have to set up a trigger. So the first one, the trigger app is service now. So here is service now. We have to pick a trigger event. It's only one, so it's not much of options. And now we just have to sign in to service now. Uh, the second action or the action goes to uh, Salesforce like this. Action event. There's more options, so we have to pick the one manually continue and the last thing is we have to log into our existing Salesforce uh, account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.